So friends, when you perform a literature review or write a literature review article, then the first and most important step is we have to read hundreds of research articles and in that we need to spend a considerable time. And the second challenge is to extract the information in the form of notes, different tables, so that we can convert all this fetched information in the form of attractive graphs, charts, schematics, and then only your literature review chapter or literature review article will be most effective and preferable. Now, will you imagine about an AI tool which is capable of selecting highly cited research articles in your field and also read all these research articles at once and accurately extract the information in the form of few key points and different tables in minutes? So hello everyone and welcome you all to this channel my research support and today in this video I'll be discussing about an unique scientific research tool answer this.io so please carefully follow all the steps i'll be mentioning this video so that you can yield better and effective results and in my opinion this tool is far better than the tools we have discussed before for performing literature review as this tool has some advanced and different features not only that but this tool itself is a complete package means you can almost perform all the stuff like rewriting humanizing generating those you can perform by using other ai tools however its literature review feature is really interesting where you can search for highly cited research articles in your area and you can perform entire literature review so today particularly we'll be discussing about this feature so without any further ado let's start so first let me search for answer this.io and then i need to click on this link so this is the main home page so i have provided this link along with the discount coupon in this video description and now you can click on sign up and you can fill these details in order to create an account so i have already created an account so i'll just moving ahead with this sign in so let me log in with my Google account. So after login, you will be able to see this web page. And believe me, this interface is really very simple. You will be able to see five options on the left side: literature review, library, search, editor, and projects. And same options are here on the upper side. So before moving ahead discussing this literature review, let me just make yourself familiar with this editor feature. For example, if you are writing something, so let me just paste one of the paragraph from my research paper. So I am explaining something about specific things. So I have written one paragraph, but I need to explain in depth means I need to write two, three paragraphs. So you can get this idea also by expanding this text. So simply you have to select this text. You can click on AI features where you can get all the options like rephrase, continue writing, humanizing text, generate outline, generate abstract, generate research questions, etc. So for example, now I need to expand this text so I can click on continue writing. So you can go through these suggestions and simply if you find this is a suitable expansion or text, then you can click on apply changes. And now you will be able to see that all the text is incorporated means it is added next to my paragraph. Okay. Similarly, if you want to rephrase something, you can select that you can click on rephrase or if you want to reduce the AI score. Then also you can click on humanize text. Now let me turn towards the most important features. So obviously first is search and then we'll be discussing about the literature review. So let me click on the search. So in my opinion, this is really an excellent feature of this answer this.io means for writing your literature review or research article if you are referring to the highly reputed or highly cited research articles then definitely it would be having impact in your overall publication process and now you can put your research topic here for example let me search for severely deformed magnesium alloy and then you have to click on filters option this setting is really very important now you can set minimum number of citations so for example you need to only refer publish research articles those have five number of citations you can set that also you have this enable turbo mode where it provides faster results but may reduce comprehensiveness you may untick that then you can select databases i have selected research papers you may choose multiple databases then you may enable or disable this web search and the most important thing is you may limit this duration for example i want to refer only recently published research articles so i would just like to set it to 1st of january 2024 till 31st of october 2024 and then you have to click on submit search so here you can say this answer this io have searched few of the research articles for me so you may change this sequence maybe sort by date or sort by citations okay now you have to just concentrate on these two points number of citations are 34 
and date of publication is 2019 so i had searched for the research articles published in last 6 months those are satisfying the criteria of number of cite five number of citations or more than that so this criteria is met however the date of publication is 2019 okay so whenever it is quite difficult to achieve both the criteria then in that case yes at least one criteria can be met okay you can also try searching for the research articles with different keywords because it is not possible with only these four keywords i can get all the related research articles so you have to change the keywords and you have to try searching for the research articles now for example say here you will be getting one message select papers to perform actions like chart summarize or export now you can add all these research articles to your answer this dot io library for example i need to use this research article for writing my literature review or research paper i can click on save to library so that paper is saved to my library then for example this has 28 citations then i may click on save to library so similarly you can add multiple research articles to your library and you can then perform maybe summarize or you may chat with those pdfs now let us move to the library to see whether these papers are updated yes you will be able to see this these papers are added to my library so now you can you may click on this extract data if you want to chat with this pdf or if you want to get summaries of this research papers or else you can just move towards this option which is literature review we can click here or else you may click on this literature review okay, so here you have to put your prompt in order to extract the specific information however you can take help of this prompt helper you can click on that then you have to click on this click to select a tool you will find some standard prompts for example ask questions from pdfs related to so i have selected that and then you have to mention about your topic or area and you can create that prompt standard prompt okay however now i would like to move ahead with my prompt so let us say i am using this prompt so how smartly you are putting up a prompt that is really very important and accordingly you will extract very specific and quality information for example i am using write an introduction section including literature review for a research paper entitled severely deformed as a 91d magnesium yellow and then you have to simply click on this option okay now this is really very important as we have discussed while searching the paper here also you can set up the criteria means you are putting a prompt here but unlike other ai tools you are not fetching information from the web okay you will be you will set your own criteria and from those research articles highly cited research articles only the information will be fetched okay so for example i need to fetch the information from the research articles whose number of citations are minimum 3 then similar to that you can select databases research papers web search etc so let me just limit the duration so for example let me consider 2000 from january 2002 till this date and then you can click on submit search so depending on your prompt it may take few seconds or sometimes a minute so here you can see that the introduction section is now ready and these are the research articles referred in order to write or generate your introduction section so you can go through the text the quality and accuracy of this text is really excellent and all this information is fetched from different research articles so here are the citations so for example if you need to locate this citation you have to simply click on that so on the right side you will get the information okay so if the pdf is available so in that case you will be able to also download that research article and at the end of this introduction section you will find the list of references so you can copy this information into your word file obviously you will find number of sub sections under this heading introduction so you can go through it and then you can copy the required information and all other information you can delete and one more point to add so you can check for the ai score if you found considerable ai score then you can copy this text from here you can paste it into your editor and then you can use the humanizer tool of this answer this dot io in order to reduce it now let me go back to this new window okay i'll just click on the literature review and i will be using another prompt prepare 
a table of different severely surface deformed techniques for stainless steel so now i need to prepare a table which is extracted from maybe number of research articles over the last 10 to 15 years so i'll use this prompt and then i can click on this option i can set different criteria i'll set the duration let me set it's from 2010 January till today and then I'll just click on submit search so you can see this this table is now formed table of surface SPD techniques for stainless steel so you can go through this table advantages disadvantages description references so you may specifically mention this different columns while putting up your prompt and then accordingly you will be able to fetch the information right now i have used general prompt of fetching the information in table form that is why this titles are automatically fetched okay so once i have this table with different number of research articles now it will come to my critical thinking that how i can convert this information which is in tabular form to different attractive charts graphs and schematics for example see these are the SPD technique this is one technique this is other technique so I may put different SPD techniques on the x-axis okay and I may put these properties like this fatigue property in second this is mechanical properties like high strength on maybe y-axis and by using that also I can create a graph okay so this is just an example but it is up to you that how you are critically thinking about this table and you are converting this table into most lucrative graphs or schematics. Not only that, but you can use this table itself in your literature review chapter or literature review article. Okay, so if you are using separate prompt in order to face the separate table, then definitely it is recommended and you will be able to face the very specific information and accordingly you can convert those into different graphs or uh, schematics and the best way to do that is to take help of this prompt helper so you have to simply click on this prompt helper and then click to select a tool so let us say you are writing your literature review chapter or literature review article then you have to first create a research outline so first you have to just click on generate a research outline on let us say my topic is severely deformed magnesium alloy then I need to click on create Okay, so this is a prompt which is created and then I need to click on this arrow. Okay, so you can set, set up this criteria, otherwise simply you have to click on the submit search. So here you can say this severely deformed magnesium alloy is a comprehensive review. So this would be the title for my literature review chapter or literature review article, you may modify that. And these are the main sections or these are the subsections research objectives severe plastic deformation techniques okay so here you will be getting the most appropriate outline for your literature review article so let us say now this is my one section microstructural evolution and now under this section also if you want to create one table that you need to convert into schematic or graph chart then simply you may use a kind of prompt like changes in uh, create a table which highlights changes in grain refinement and texture development due to different SPD techniques okay so that you will be getting one specific table that you can convert into different schematics and you can add those schematics under your this subsection and then only this chapter will become effective okay so this was about the outline you can go back to this new tab and then again you can take help of this prompt helper click to select a tool so let us say if you want to select a research topic on then you can click on that let us say you need to just mention about the broad field and then you have to click on create so this would be your prompt just click on this arrow and submit search so you can see this magnesium alloy is a comprehensive research so different research topics are mentioned main research topics and subtopics like alloy design 
टेलरिंग कंपोजिशन फॉर परफॉर्मेंस यू मे सिलेक्ट दिस रिसर्च टॉपिक अगेन सर्फेस मॉडिफिकेशन दिस अगेन वन ऑफ द एरिया वेयर यू कैन वर्क ऑन सो दिस आर द मेन एरियाज एंड अंडर दैट यू मे सिलेक्ट दिस सब एरिया सो सो दिस वुड बी काइंड ऑफ स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक एंड दिस इज द वर्क विच इज ऑलरेडी गोइंग ऑन ऑब्वियसली फ्रॉम दिस ओवरऑल प्रॉम्प्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन यू विल गेट एक्जैक्ट आइडिया अबाउट दिस टॉपिक्स बट स्टिल यू हैव टू देन रीड अबाउट any specific latest research articles and then you can finalize your topic but still this interface will help you a lot in selecting your research topic so in this way you can use multiple prompts in order to generate specific information not only for writing your literature review but also to prepare a literature review chapter of your research paper your phd thesis or also this will help you in writing your assignments and obviously the manual attention is required but i believe this literature review tool of this answer this.io will help you in saving your maximum time in performing overall literature review now let us discuss about some subscription plans so obviously with free account you will be able to use some limited features and then you need to upgrade to the premium but comparatively plans are cheaper if you are thinking about the yearly packages and do not forget to refer to the video description to get additional discount so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye